have the distinct pleasure to welcome none other than Twyla Tharp, the choreographer for Nine Sinatra Songs. Hi, Lourdes. Pleasure to be with you in Miami. Hi, <laughs> hi, Twyla. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. My pleasure. So a few questions on Nine Sinatra songs, uh, but actually, frankly, about Frank Sinatra. So I know that you've choreographed to the music of Frank Sinatra, certainly in Come Fly With Me. I think it was Broadway, uh, on Broadway in 2009. But what is it about him that captivated you? Is it a swagger, his phrasing? What, what was it or what is it? Uh, I think it's his universality. This, uh, the whole Nine Sinatra songs began uh, as a duet between Misha and myself for a gala. And I think we thought we would get Sinatra to perform it live, which did not happen, but we thought that would be a nice event to have. Uh, and eventually that duet morphed into nine Sinatra songs uh, and then came back down into Sinatra Suite, which Misha did, which Sinatra did see. Uh, but he never sang it live. Yeah, Sinatra is a consummate artist, uh, both vocalist, he's a great actor, uh, and his range of both the musical element and the dramatic element uh, offers a wide spectrum to work off of. So he could support nine songs uh, with dance, which he wanted to do. When he came to see us, he said, well, he came back, he said, you know, I cried the whole time. And uh, I asked him, oh, well, why is that? He said, because I've always, always wanted to dance. And I said, well, you know, Frank, you do dance very well, but if I were you, I would not quit my day job. <laughs> so he was, well, he was a very good sport. Actually, that was gonna be one of my questions if he had ever acknowledged at the ballet. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was very fond of the ballet. He went out of his way to uh, give approvals, to get, uh, to get uh, permissions from all the musicians, all the composers, all the orchestrators. He was very, very generous, as were they. Uh, everyone was happy to have the music uh, become a ballet. Uh, and Sinatra generously, was always very generous, uh, said at some sort of event, well, you know, this ballet gives me class. So, okay, great. I couldn't have done it without him and without his classiness. But, you know, all, all great folk have a certain humility to them. And he, he genuinely was grateful to have the dancers working with his music. Did he, did he ever divulge a favorite pas de that you've choreographed? No, I think they were like children. We love them all. <laughs> Um, my next question, Twyla, is when did you actually become aware of Sinatra? Because I, I did a little bit of math, and I think you, you know, you're one of the, um, you were in your teens when he was a major star. Yes, but my mother wasn't, and my mother was a huge Sinatra fan, and my mother was a concert was trained as a concert pianist, so her musical uh, acumen was highly regarded, and she always considered him to be the consummate vocalist. So I was biased from the get-go. And did any kind of nostalgia that takes place when you hear his songs um, in the past? Is that, or even when you see Nine Sinatra songs, nostalgia for your youth, for bygone era? The interesting thing I've heard my way thousands of times between the various versions that have been done and the reconstructions and so forth, and every time it is fresh, every time it is effective because of the uh, extraordinary um, control that Sinatra had over the performance. So it's never nostalgia. It's always fresh to me every time. How did you choreograph? Are you listening to the lyrics? Is it just the music? Um, are you trying to tell a narrative, even an abstract narrative? It's all the above. Uh, and of course, these songs are an American canon, uh, and they are part of a deep and extraordinarily valuable uh, series of very witty, intelligent lyrics with great melodies uh, that existed in the 20th century in America, the standards. <laughs> so I have a sense of their place in that kind of context. When I choreographed lyrics, uh, I'm always aware of the rhythm of the lyric, and I'm always aware of the uh, literal 
meaning of the words as well as the context. Uh, so that all of those elements form different uh, layers for the choreography. Obviously, the music itself without the lyric is another extremely important ingredient. But uh, it also has to do with the pacing. I mean, and I do when I do, for example, Juice Cooper, any of the pop popular pieces, I structure those uh, those medleys so that they have a pacing, an opener, a, a second song, a third song that's going to be a penultimate, and then there's going to be the first my way and, and so forth. So it has an overreaching arc that has a build. The first couple deals with the notion of the introduction, the innocence of the first falling in love. The second couple deals with seduction. The third couple has an intense sort of familiarity with one another. The fourth couple is light and bright. The fifth couple is sincere and deep. The sixth couple is flamboyant enough to have their own individual good times. And the last couple uh, deals with one of the more difficult things in relationships, which is argument. How do you argue? And many couples never resolve that. Uh, our last couple does. And after you know, a fair degree of give and take, they come to resolution, which allows the final My Way to come to play. My Way is used twice, two different performances, one an earlier performance that Sinatra did, the other was like 20 years later. Um, and when uh, I had once had dinner with Sinatra and his last wife, um, she was not happy about the my ways. And Frank said, yeah, I know. Me neither. I don't like that last high note. But what she didn't like was the idea that he was singing a song that was my way, his way. Uh, and I always felt, I always tried to convince the audience that my way was our way and the, the women in the piece partnered differently than in the classical ballet again they have a physical strength uh and utilize it for counterbalances counter partnering um leverage <clears throat> that is not so ordinary certainly in the ballet uh and uh i i do believe that uh ultimately the reason that this multifaceted couple stays together is because my way is our way. So that's the thinking both uh, about overbearing, overriding structure for something uh, and the individual uh, moments, the individual songs to support those various conditions. Twyla, as always, you're way ahead of me and you answered all of my questions. <laughs> oh, okay. What else would you like to talk about? Thank you so much. No, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us and for all the gifts that you've given us um, and given so many dancers through your work, through your steps and just your, your pure creativity. Um, be safe. We send you all our love from Miami and hopefully we will see you soon. Yeah, no, let, me, let me say to you, Lourdes, thank you for uh, having me. And of course, many thanks to Miami City Ballet for many years and many pieces of uh, uh, being presented to your community through your wonderful dancers and uh, all my best to you guys. And you know, Godspeed. Thank you, we will see you soon, I promise. Right. Thanks, Be well, honey, thank you. Take care. <laughs>